friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us draw two different lines, PQ and RF on a paper. Then by the assumption that the two lines can be extended indefinitely in both the directions, we get PQ and RF intersect at some point too. So they are called intersecting lines. We can also draw two different lines AB and CD in such a manner that they never intersect. However much we extend them in both the directions. Such lines are called non-intersecting lines or parallel lines. Let us understand what are axioms. The assumptions used throughout mathematics which are actually universal truths are called axioms. For example, the whole of anything is greater than its part. We know that it is a universal truth. This part of the circle is smaller than the whole circle. So, the whole of anything is greater than its part. Another axiom states, if equals are added to equal, the wholes are equal. For example, if x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 5 and we add them, then x plus y is equal to 7. Hence we have added one equality to the second equality and we get the whole equality. We will now study axiom on pair of angles. Axiom 1 says if a ray stands on a line the sum of two adjacent angles so formed is 180 degrees. It is given in axiom 1 that a ray stands on a line. Then by definition of adjacent angles, angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent angles and clearly they are forming a linear pair. Hence, angle 1 plus angle 2 will be 180 degrees. Let us now check if the converse of axiom 1 is also true. We state converse of axiom 1 as axiom 2 which says that if the sum of two adjacent angles is 180 degrees, then the non-common arms of the angles form a line. To check if axiom 2 is true, let us draw one pair of adjacent angles. Here angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent angles. Then OA and OB are the non-common arms. Let us use a D and measure angle AOB. We will find that angle AOB is not equal to 180 degrees. Similarly, we can draw more adjacent angles and check if the non-common arms form an angle of 180 degrees. And we will see that only when the non-common arms form a line, then the sum of two adjacent angles is 180 degrees. 
that too that if the sum of two adjacent angles is 180 degree then the non common arm of the angles form a line these two axioms together are also called linear pair axioms let us now define theorem axioms that can be used to prove other results then using these results we can prove some more results by applying deductive reasoning the statements that are proved using axioms are called theorems let us prove the following theorem it says that if two lines intersect then the vertically opposite angles are equal to prove this theorem let us take two lines ab and cd and let them intersect at o then we have to prove angle aod equal to angle cob they are vertically opposite and angle dob is equal to angle aoc as they are vertically opposite to start with the proof let us consider line ab then oc is a ray on it then our axiom 1 says that if a ray stands on a line then the sum of two adjacent angles will be equal to 180 degree that means we can say that angle boc plus angle aoc should be equal to 180 degree now consider line cd then oa is a ray on it then again by the same axiom angle aoc and angle aod will make a linear pair and we can write that sum of these angles is 180 degree by the axiom of linear pair let us mark the first equality as 1 and second one as 2 now both of them are equal to 180 degree means they should be equal so let us write it on equating both the sides we can see that angle aoc is on both the sides so let us transpose one of the AC, aocs to the other side then we get now we have aoc minus aoc they will get cancelled and we are left with angle boc is equal to angle aod so we have proved our first part angle boc is equal to angle aod that means vertically opposite angles are equal similarly we can prove the second part if we take ab as the line and od as a ray on it and considering cd as a line with a ray ao on it so in the proof we can write that similarly angle aoc is equal to angle bod and hence proved the theorem